here I am standing in the middle of Johannesburg North where I am researching and developing abundant off the grid water solutions where in just a few months our home will be totally off the water grid independent like a ship sailing through the sea totally independent of government and their ups and downs and here I am, I'm standing in the middle of a um, 30 square meter wetland surrounding me in a circle that will take the pool water, circulate it and take it back over returning it clean without chlorine <laughs> today will be one of the last days in my life that I'll be putting chlorine into my pool I'm so excited about this so I'd like to share a few work in progress shots with you of how we're <coughs> getting this done. It was quite a mission as the liner weighs over over a hundred kilograms. So we had to have five people feeding it like a snake. And I'll show it to you in some shots right away. Enjoy. As you can see, the truck is coming in. It's going to offload the 14,000 kilograms of gravel for our wetland that's going to turn the pool into an eco pond. So here's all the crazy noises. Wow, <laughs> what a big machine. Yeah, let's go. You might damage some of my branches. Yeah. 14,000 kilograms of stone. Quite impressive. So we are ready to create this wetland. We are ready to do it. Thank you. So just to let you know, we are ready for the wetland. And we are ready to do it with you. And I'm looking forward to showing you how I'm going to turn my 100,000 liter pool in stages into a drinking water reservoir that will eventually be plumbed to a tower standing on the top part of my property a water tower and that's going to go straight into the house and I'll be off the water grid this is 10 cubes of gravel cost me 5,000 grand and um, deliver to my door so now we need some labor power and carry it through 30 meter liner how's eddie okay guys <laughs> let's get it going putting this liner down this is more of a mission than we thought um because how do you keep it from falling down yeah, put it on top, put it on top. So we're using these buckets to just prop it up. Thanks God the line is a bit wider. Um, yeah, so here it's coming along. So how do I make these guys work so fast? Well, I've doubled the rate because I want them out of here in two hours so I can play with my son. And they give me double the amount of time, energy, in half the amount of time and they're running with those buckets but it, only on one condition is that that pile disappears that pile behind me disappears in two hours so yeah you give them a goal yeah you give them a bit of an incentive and they're gonna push themselves so here it is the wetland to turn that pool into a clean water reservoir it's coming along We have used a bit of pegs and um, there it comes. So we're just focusing on this area and that will carry on. And here, on just on the other side of the river, within 40 meters from where I'm standing, raw sewage is pouring into the river. Sewage, can't see it clearly here, but you can see it is just flowing in. There is a blue sewage pipe. It's been broken now for the umpteenth time. And that is actually feeding our drinking water supply. The 200 liters a second 
flowing into the river where we're all gonna drink from. Shit. No, <laughs> Shit is the word that I say. Unjani, <laughs> Baba. <laughs> That's from Johannesburg Water. So what can we do? And my solution is, there's nothing better than taking the water in your own hands. Catching your own, treating your own, storing your own, and knowing that the water that you have has not been tampered with or has had any chemicals added for its purification. If you catch your own water, you'll be able to treat it naturally with plants and bacteria and animal kingdoms and plant kingdoms. I'll be explaining all of this in the upcoming workshop. So I'm so excited to share this information with you. Scroll below and leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. Have a great day.